What's up, everybody? Welcome to another video on the channel. Um, it's been a while. Haven't made a video in a bit. Uh, I want to come back to make some of those World Chronicles content. You know, I just missed it. Haven't done it in a while. Been, better, been pretty busy. I recorded this last night um, when the B Sweaters first came out, and I kind of wanted to re record it because I feel like I kind of did a better job just explaining them. Um, especially now that I pulled all three, as you can see on screen, I have pulled all three. And I got some views and I got some takes. Uh, but before we get into it, if you guys like the video, Please go ahead and like the video, you know, drop a comment below if you want me to do more content, if you want me to do like individual videos with the Beast Riders, if you want me to like, you know, do a, like a brawl video or battlefield or arena, you know, any of that type of content or see if they're good in any PVE content, because uh, spoiler, I don't think they're really PVE units. I think they're kind of just probably more guild siege and summer brawl. Uh, but overall, um, like I said, if you like the video, just go ahead and drop a like on the video, drop a comment if you want to make more content. And also, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Really do appreciate it. I know it's been a while. Like I said, I haven't made a video in a very long time. And so this is pretty much me coming back to the Chronicles, you know, YouTube content. I miss it. I want to do it more. But without further ado, let's get into the Beast Riders. All right, so before we get into anything, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Um... It's more just an announcement. I will say, if anything, um, this event is a little bit bugged. Uh, during stream last night, I summoned for, I was summoning for Barbara. I pulled Barbara. I completed the story. I did not get my scrolls, so it's bugged. So if you're wondering, oh, what's what's happening? Did I do something wrong? No, it's bugged. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be fixed. I reported, we reported it to come to us. I say we, but you know, we all did. Reported to come to us, but I, send it directly to come to us um also one more thing um right now is the perfect time and i mean the absolute perfect time to farm a lot of path of growth aka root farming because with uh with this event the lucky bingo get uh, the lucky bingo event being focused on path of growth you're gonna get a lot of your crystals back at pretty much in the refund so you, you can go pretty ham just spamming path of growth trying to get some better runes for your monsters and then you're gonna get a lot of your crystals back and anyway, so honestly perfect time because I, I literally just spent like 2k crystals uh like, like two point like 3k crystals you know just farming and i got 1.5k i got a lot of crystals back so i would say if anything like right now is the perfect time if you want to work on your runes get a better set and you know just anything to improve your monster box so again just wanted to throw that out there just for a little helpful tip for anybody that's playing the game uh but yeah get to the room farming it'll help you out but yeah beast riders i didn't forget all right so um the big issue right now is that a lot of people are mad about uh, the monster story because if you are doing the monster story and you go all the way to the right You notice that Barbara is part of the, mob, uh, the monster story a lot of you guys probably didn't know that well now You know um, the problem is in order for you to proceed to uh, pass a certain point You have to own Barbara meaning you have to summon for Barbara personally. I don't think this is a big deal I don't think it's a big deal at all <clears throat> I don't think it's I don't think it's anything too crazy I know some people are you know a little bit upset that it's like oh I have to pull Barbara to complete the monster story um, like I said, personally, I don't find it that big of a deal. You can, you can have a different opinion of it. That's totally fine. But since the rewards aren't really that crazy to begin with, you're not missing out on anything like super like super sick. Besides just a devil mon, honestly. Um, and on top of that, when you pull a barber, you base, you're basically getting two barbers for the price of one. So it's honestly not that big of a deal. Um, but if, if you're mad about it, you're totally you're totally. Uh, right to be mad about it i do think they should not do this again though because uh it does set a it does kind of set like a, a really it it, it 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 leaves a bad taste in people's mouths and i totally understand why people are kind of mad about this but like i said me personally i don't find it a big deal mainly because i don't think barbara's bad at all i think barbara's actually pretty good so pulling for barbara and once you get barbara you basically get two so i don't think I don't, I, that's why i don't think that's a big of a deal um it's overall just to me like a non-issue there's way bigger issues in the game that we can worry about and get it out the way but all, overall in case you're wondering like okay why am i stuck what i gotta do you got to pull a barbara so I mean, you have to go in here go to summon altar summon you a barbara and then you'll be able to complete the story all right now back to the review i know that's important for you all you guys so uh when it comes to the beast riders um to be honest with you i think they're all okay i think they're all pretty okay um i think savannah if if we're gonna rank them i do think savannah's probably uh savannah and barbara are kind of tied in, in a way because of the fact that it's like 
Barbara may be kind of seen towards PvE. I think they're all really solid, like siege units. Like you could use them in guild work content and they can do their jobs exceedingly well, considering Barbara has two strips, one on her S2. Like, actually, I'm saying like her S1, but it's literally her, it's her, it's her basic attack. Um, but her S2 and S1, um, also uh, strip her s2 strips two her s1 strips one buff so just be mindful of that but overall like um i, I think they're all just just okay none, they're not too crazy if you just wanted to know like oh should i are they must pull not really um but they are pretty they're they're pretty okay they're pretty good they're nothing they're not terrible units but i just don't think they're like you know a dire need so just going over them really quickly just to like you know skim by them and i don't want to i don't want to put too much emphasis on this um like I said, Barbara's pretty decent because of the fact that, again, she strips uh, on both skills. All of the Beast Riders have a uh, basically a base attack where they apply something. And considering that they all, they're all they all scaling on attack speed, so a good set for them will be Swift. You could also do Rage Blade with attack speed subs and try to get like attack speed uh, slot 2 and then like attack speed in the subs, like I said, and then try to get the stats that way. Um, but overall, I think Swift will probably be the way to go because of the fact that after Swift got buffed not too long ago, um, getting the attack speed um, is really nice because it allows you to really focus on the other stats and not focus too heavily on attack speed. Like all you need is a Swift set and a, and a, and a attack speed slot 2 and you're ideally fine and you can throw in like I throw in like attack speed um, moon gems and that kind of helps you get the attack speed that you want to get to I think the, the the sweet spot is around like 250 I think that's a good spot to have it and then just focus on other stats like focus on crit rate crit damage um, try to get her get her as tank try to get them as tanky as possible you don't want them too squishy because you know you don't want them to get one shot and then once they drop into human form they get one shot again you don't want that to happen you do want some durability on them um, <clears throat> But I would say, like, um, if you were to pull for one, uh, obviously, the first one to go for probably is Barbara because, again, Monster Story. And then I would say after that, go for Savannah. I think Savannah is really good for Brawl because her skill uh, three, the Gigantic Roar, is pretty darn good. Being able to decrease um, do, uh, decrease cool, uh, the, the, the skill to the deceleration and also, the, uh, you know, uh, decreasing, the, like, uh, applying defense down. I don't know why I'm brain farting but yeah applying defense down and uh being able to decrease uh decelerate apply skill deceleration which is really dope and also her s1 uh increases the ultimate gauge which is really good so obviously you build her on a lot of attack speed and she's attacking a lot you're building your ult gauge really really well so sav and brawl is really is really solid and i would consider if you were a brawler you might not want to miss out on savannah so you there is an argument if you you know if you're pulling for one that i would say go towards like whatever you're kind of what, what kind of content you're really focused on um if you're like a heavy brawler then you might want to go for savannah and then get barbara afterwards but i do think either way you should probably pull for barbara and savannah mosh is the only one that i find kind of meh if I'm being honest, uh, she's she's okay. She's not terrible. Like I said, all the Beast Riders are, are decent. Um, decent to like cool, good. You know, I think Sab is probably just a little bit higher, just in brawl in a brawl sense. But um, it, it, I would probably say yeah, in a brawl sense, probably a seed sense, probably the best elemental one. But Mosh is definitely the lowest one. She does apply beneficial effect block, which is pretty good. That's not bad. Um, you can, you know, you, like you, you apply some strips, and then you apply the beneficial effect block in an area, and then there you go. It's pretty. That's pretty decent, uh, honestly, within itself. It's not a bad skill. Um, they're beast riders, so they they do decent damage. I'll show you the damage um, after this. But overall, like like I said, they're just decent. They're not they're anything, too, anything too crazy. And like I said, I think Sav is probably the one you might you probably want to go for. Um, but overall, it's not anything that's like, oh my god, you like, you know, using your mind trying to get Sav. It's it's not that crazy. Um, but overall, like I said, they're they're all pretty cool. I do think um, out of the LD ones though, the LD ones, I do like Ziana because Ziana is immune. Uh, Ziana cannot get immunity. Um, and with every and with every debuff that is on her, she uh, her basic attack will transfer it back to 
whoever she's attacking, which I think is actually a pretty cool mechanic, to be honest with you. Um, I know one of my people I know, Hayata, he got Ziana literally at launch. Screw that guy. But um, overall, she's uh, I think her mechanic of just transferring bus back uh, is pretty is pretty cool. I actually like that mechanic. Um, and Nars is kind of just a standard damage dealer, nothing too crazy. You know, it's just, it's just I do damage, and that's just simply how it is. Um, so Narsha's not too crazy, which I guess, this is kind of how she is in Sky Arena. It's just I do big damage. That's literally just how she is in Sky Arena. Um, so nothing too crazy, but I do like uh, I do like just uh, like Barbara, and I do like Savannah. I just think Masha's kind of meh. So let me just show you some of the damage uh, that she puts out. Uh, let me just show you the runes. These are the runes, and also I have the courage. Uh, I have the Courage effect, where it increases attack by 12 per 1% of its current uh, HP ratio. So that's uh, it's a really good artifact for, for warriors, and I would say it's a pretty good artifact for just beast rods in general. So if you want to go for an, a purple artifact, uh, this, uh, this is the one I would definitely try to go for. Um, like I said, these are the stats. She's on Swift Blade. Uh, if you didn't know, you don't have to focus too much on precision because the more attack speed you get, uh, the more precision you get. So you don't have to focus on precision too much. I would just focus on just, uh, like I said, I want to focus on durability, uh, more HP, uh, good attack, good defense. I'm not really done with the build. I just kind of do stuff on. And then uh, decent accuracy so you can land your debuffs because she does apply um, crit damage taken up on her second skill. And then you also have the strips, so you want to make sure you land, you want to, you know, land the strips as well. So let's look at her damage uh, in game. All right, so let me let me drop the other two, <laughs> so they don't mess it up. But just so you guys can see, uh, just on basic attacks, uh, Barbara does. I don't want to be too close. Go ahead, attack, attack Barbara. Now she's doing. There you go. You see 4.4, which is you see that 4.4, which is not bad, 4.4, uh, and then on S2, you got the 12, da you got the 12,000 damage, 14,000 damage, excuse me. So you say, oh, so I, I, w I guess I was being construed, I was being, I was being baited. But yes, you, you see 5,000 basic attack um, with the crit damage. Oh, because he probably has crit damage up, so there was 4,000. The crit damage up was there. So um, you got the 5,000 on basic attack, 4,000 without the crit damage up, and then. You have 12,000. I believe last time I looked at it, it was like 10,000 without the crit damage up. And then you have the S3, which does 14,000. So um, that's pretty good damage. Some people probably look at that like, oh, it's kind of low. But you have to kind of remember that she's attacking uh, a lot. So if Barbara's just sticking on you and your defense is broken, uh, next thing you know, you're probably dead. Because like most, I would say, I would say most people right now are probably around 70 to 80k health on the high end. And so. That says that this says to me right here, like you know, like you know, two combo abilities, and you're already getting chunked over a bit, um, especially if you're stripped, because you'd get combo obviously with like, let's say you do like you know, um, you did a defense break, and then bam, it's like you just took thirty, you just took thirty six, thirty seven thousand damage. That's that's a that's a huge chunk, and then you know, obviously eighteen thousand on the second skill, and that's not including if she's buffed, she's attack buffed, so that's a good chunk of damage that's being. Um, take it out of you. So the Beast Riders do pretty good chunks of damage. So, you know, obviously the higher, the the better you build them, uh, the more damage they do. So I do suggest, um, I do suggest a Swift. But if you want to go for like huge burst, then obviously Rage is definitely a, a go-to. Um, you just want to focus on getting a lot of attack speed. Attack speed, they're, since they're attack speed scaling. So I would say if anything, you're like around 240 or 230 attack speed or Rage, you're probably good with like, you know, I want to say like a, what is it? Probably like two, right? You know, close to 200 crit damage. That's gonna be pretty hard to do, by the way. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be so hard to do. The only person that probably could do that is probably Bud, but I don't know they. I I think even he would say that's probably just reaching for the reaching for the stars. But overall, like I, I they, they do really decent damage, um, especially if they're set up pretty well. Um, and that's not hard to do. And also, she's not skilled up, so that damage is only gonna go up. So it's probably gonna be. Like if we're really thinking about it, it's like how much the basic attack is increased to 148, 150%. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be probably like around like, um, what is it? Probably like around like a, probably it could, it could be around like 10K a hit. 10, probably like a eight, like eight, nine K a hit. Uh, 10k is a little too much. I'm, I'm bad at math, <laughs> but uh, 10k of math, like 10k. I was like eight, eight or nine k. That's with no buffs. And with buffs, yeah, it'll probably be around 10k. But if you just defense broken and if she had the, the crit damage taken up, 
then it's like, you know, you, you're probably getting chumped for a bit. I like how I miss defense break. Come on. Come on, Orbia. Why, why are we doing this? I want to add defense break just so I can see the, if the numbers go up. So let me, uh, let me apply defense break, hopefully. Apply defense break. Okay, never mind. Oh, cause, it's because I'm, it's because he's, um, it's fire. Hold on. Let me switch it to water. And so I just realized I, I was, I was wind Orbia and also fire dummy. So that's why I was missing. All right, so defense break. And then we have the crit damage taken up. So yeah, now you're looking at, now you're looking at, yeah, 16,000. Yeah, these beast riders do good damage. So I, I definitely, uh, I definitely suggest, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Swift. I think Swift is definitely the way to go. Like 6,000 a hit, you apply crit damage taken up. Now you have 7,000. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually really decent damage, because especially because they're attacking so fast and they're sticking on you. So the, you can get chumped without even knowing it. It's like you can get comboed like that, into into that, into that. You know, into that, and it's it's just a lot of damage, and then OT damage is it's hard to see with all the numbers, but but yeah, they, they, they do pretty good damage, and so um, I'm definitely gonna focus on trying to like level them up, and then trying to get them in a, in a pretty good spot. Uh, but overall, they're okay, they're decent, um, they're pretty fun. I will say I will say from that, but definitely I would say if, you, if they're the top, if I were to rank the three elemental ones, it'd definitely be Savannah, uh, Barbara, and then Masha. Masha could probably go off for last. Um, and go from there. I've been pretty lucky. I, I got her to 813. I haven't had pity yet. So, um, guarantee my Barbara will be 814. And then I'm gonna, after I, you know, finish the, off the banner on Barbara, I'm gonna finish off the banner, uh, the banner on Savannah and try to see if I can get some more, um, awakenings on Savannah. But, um, yeah, overall, I would say they're, they're, they're decent units. They're pretty good. They're not anything too crazy though, so you don't have to like you don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything crazy. Um, maybe Savannah, I don't know. Savannah may because Savannah kind of seems like she'll be a, probably a little bit more meta, but overall, um, I think overall they're, they're just they're just cool. They're pretty good. Um, yeah, that's all. Just wanted to just run by anybody that w w like wanted to ask any questions about the Beast Riders and just wanted to know like just wanted to see their damage output. I like how she's she just go she is going ham. On that target dummy. She is like bro, like she is going to town on that target dummy. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's all. I just wanted to do a quick video just to show people the beast riders and uh yeah, that is all. Like I said, uh drop in the comment section if you want me to make any individual videos on the beast riders on any of the three, and I'll try them on different content just to give you more perspective of just like the the ceiling that they may uh, be able to achieve but yeah if you like the video go ahead and press the like button i will see you guys in the next one peace